Reduce airspeed to achieve approximately 6.5 degrees AOA. Your max range cruise angle of attack. Reference on the HUD. Confirm your optimal cruise knots calibrated airspeed or Mach number on your right MPCD, choose Menu on push button 18, then VRS page and select Cruise or CRS on push button 11. Good, now let's practice a max range descent to 12,000 MSL. This descent favors fuel economy over speed and would be useful with low on fuel to maximize the distance the aircraft could fly to get home. Reduce power to idle, ensure your flaps are in auto mode. Keep the speed brake retracted and maintain a pitch setting that will keep the aircraft at Mach 0 0.8. To level off from a max range descent, at 1,000 feet to go from your target altitude, or 13,000 MSL, reduce your rate of descent to 1,000 feet or less and smoothly transition to a target altitude of 12,000 MSL. Now that we've leveled off, let's conduct some basic handling drills. These drills are designed to familiarize you with the capabilities, limitations, and handling characteristics of the aircraft in various flight surface configurations and flight regimes. The first drill is an energy maintaining turn, using full power at 360 knots calibrated airspeed. Advance the throttle and adjust your aircraft's pitch to maintain level flight at 360 knots calibrated airspeed. At 360 knots calibrated airspeed, advance the throttle to full power and bank left to capture an approximate 50 degree angle of bank. Once captured, apply smooth aft pressure on the stick to maintain 12,000 MSL and 360 knots calibrated airspeed. If your speed is dropping below 360 knots calibrated, release aft pressure. If your speed is increasing past 360 knots calibrated, apply more aft pressure. Note the rate of turn and the light buffet. This is an energy maintaining turn that demonstrates the Harrier's sustained turn performance. When ready, release backstick pressure as you approach the current waypoint heading and roll to wings level. Reduce throttle and adjust pitch to maintain 360 knots calibrated airspeed. Next we will try that maneuver again, but with flaps in the cruise setting. Set the flap selector to the cruise position. Apply full power and this time bank in the other direction to capture 50 degrees angle of bank. 
When captured, apply aft pressure on the stick and continue to maintain 12,000 MSL and 360 knots calibrated airspeed. As you complete your turn, note the differences in sustained turn rate between automatic and cruise flap settings. Relax aft stick pressure as you approach the selected waypoint and then roll wings level. Next, we will conduct approach to stall drills. These drills demonstrate the aircraft's high AOA handling characteristics and how to recover from a stall. Maintain 12,000 MSL and bring the throttle to idle. Maintain level flight with smooth gradual aft stick pressure and observe the aircraft AOA approach 17 to 18 units. At the onset of wing rock or buffet, release aft stick pressure to reduce AOA and then apply full power, monitoring side slip and correcting with the rudder. The goal is to reduce the AOA to within 10 to 12 units, and recovering back to 12,000 MSL. Note that if you apply full power prior to reducing AOA, it could cause the nose to pitch up, and cause an aircraft departure from controlled flight. Reset the flaps to auto by placing the flap selector switch to the auto position. Let's try that again, but this time in a dirty configuration. At 12,000 MSL, slow the aircraft to below 250 knots calibrated airspeed and lower the landing gear by placing the landing gear lever in the down position. Establish and try to keep an airspeed that corresponds to 10 units of AOA. Continue to slow down to capture 15 units of AOA. At the onset of wing rock or buffet, again relax the aft stick pressure and apply full power, monitoring side slip and correcting with the rudder. Once 10 to 12 units of AOA are recaptured, raise the landing gear by placing the landing gear lever in the up position and continue to maintain 12,000 MSL and 360 knots calibrated airspeed. For the next descent, we'll practice a tactical descent to 7,000 MSL that favors speed and energy retention over fuel economy. You will reduce the power to 65%, ensure your flaps are in auto mode, keep the speed brake retracted, and maintain a pitch setting that will maintain Mach 0 0.8 or 350 knots calibrated, whichever is lower. You may begin your descent. At 1,000 feet to go, or 8,000 MSL, ensure your nose is no lower than 10 degrees, and smoothly transition into level flight at 7,000 MSL and 360 knots calibrated airspeed. Lastly, let's examine level and descending turn performance with nozzles configured for landing. This will demonstrate how the aircraft will behave in the landing pattern, and will set you up well for future lessons where we will cover short, rolling vertical, and vertical landings. Slow the aircraft to below 250 knots calibrated airspeed, and lower the landing gear by placing the landing gear lever in the down position. Observe four green down and locked indications.
Select VSTOL HUD Master Mode and set the nozzles to 25 degrees by pulling the nozzle lever aft to the appropriate setting. Take note of the AOA change on the HUD. Select STOL flaps by placing the flap selector switch in the STOL position. The STOW light will illuminate. Slow the aircraft to 10 units of AOA and stabilize at 7000 MSL. Practice some mild level turns. Next, set the nozzles to 50 degrees by pulling the nozzle lever aft to the appropriate setting and slow to 10 units of AOA. Note that as you decelerate through 165 knots calibrated airspeed, the flaps set themselves to 62 degrees and the ailerons will droop, causing a nose down pitch that may require aft stick pressure and additional power to compensate for. Add power as necessary to stabilize at 10 units of AOA and practice both level and descending turns, simulating aircraft behavior in various portions of the landing pattern. When you finish practicing, press the space bar to continue. Your return to level wingborne flight is conducted by first setting full power and establishing a positive rate of climb.
Raise the landing gear by placing the landing gear lever in the up position. Nozzle out to 25 degrees by pushing the nozzle lever forward to the appropriate setting. Select auto flaps by placing the flap selector switch in the auto position. Nozzle out to zero degrees, ensuring all landing gear lights are extinguished, and reselect the nav HUD master mode. This concludes the takeoff and basic handling tutorial. Feel free to continue practicing. In the next lesson, we will cover the landing pattern, landing checklist, a conventional landing, or CL, and post-landing checks.